The following series of slides gives an overview of common audit activities. The discussion of the audit activities is based on ISO 19011, however adapted to the specifics of internal auditing. The sequence of activities for performing an individual audit starts with the initiation of the audit. Based on the overall audit program, an audit is triggered either by the risk-based planning of internal audits or by another triggering input, such as nonconformities, CAPA follow-up, or a management decision. For example, to ensure support of a change management project within the organization. Remember what was said earlier in this course regarding the inputs and outputs of an internal audit program. Often, in medical device companies, the overall responsibility for initiating an audit is with the quality manager. 1. The appointment of the audit team leader or lead auditor is also, in most companies, the duty of the quality manager. This task is critical in view of the quality and reliability of the audit results. The quality manager or the person responsible for initiating internal audits in the organization needs to take into account the competence and availability of internal auditors in the internal auditor pool. Competence and qualifications, including soft skills, will be discussed in detail in another part of this course. 2. Definition of the audit scope is done by the quality manager, sometimes in consultation with the quality management representative, if required. The audit scope describes the extent and boundaries of the audit, such as physical locations, organizational units, activities and processes to be audited, as well as the time period covered by the audit. The audit criteria for an internal audit are mainly the documentation of the implemented management system, perhaps extended to specific subsets of external requirements from standards or laws as suitable for achieving the audit objective. The audit objective of the internal audit is linked to the triggering input for the audit.